Okay, I found this pretty disgusting. Another um, pedophile Jesuit priest has been accused of sexual abuse, and I've said this in my tweets, and this is that Roman Catholicism is just pagan Roman religion masquerading as Christianity. It's just pagan Roman Greek religion repackaged. So as a result, they're going to have all the sexual perversion that the pagan Greeks and Romans had. So I'm not surprised by this at one bit. But it says, a Jesuit priest who taught at Brophy College Preparatory for seven years in the 1980s and coached a boy, the boys' football team is the latest Phoenix area Catholic priest to be accused of sexual abuse. In a lawsuit filed today, an anonymous al alum now living in California alleges the Reverend, you know, it's kind of funny because Reverend is a title for God, so preachers should not be calling themselves Reverend this, Reverend that, you know. But they're giving themselves God's title, but of course, the Catholic Church does that all the time. They give themselves title for God. They're blasphemers. The Reverend James A. Sonorid, S.J., so that means the Society of Jesus, you know, but I call it the Society of Satan, Satanism basically, uh, because it does do their Satanists, engaged in sexual contact with him without his consent when he was a minor incapable of giving consent. The lawsuit does not specify the nature or time frame of the alleged misconduct, but Sinnerud, funny because his name says Sinner in it, you know, wicked sinner, would have uh, been in his late 40s when he taught at Brophy. The lawsuit alleges that Brophy, the Western U.S. Jesuits trap chapter, and the Phoenix Roman Catholic Diocese were negligent in protecting the plaintiff from Sinnerud and either, either knew or should have known about his abuse. It cites long-standing evidence of the church's efforts to conceal the epidemic of child sex abuse by clergy, including a 2003 confession by the Phoenix bishop that, ha that he had remo uh, moved priests ar to around to conceal their misdeeds. Not good at reading on a computer, but, you know, if the Catholic Church was founded by Jesus Christ and it's the Church of Jesus Christ, why are they covering up for this wicked pedophilia? And why is it that they never repent of it? They'll issue, they'll basically apologize for their pedophilia, but never repent of it. And this is also the problem with having celibate bishops. Because bishops are supposed to be married. But then, you know, if you read the Bible, they're supposed to be married, but they're celibate. So as a result, they don't, ha they don't have that, they haven't had that, I don't, I don't want to get too graphic, but they don't have that basically desire fulfilled. That's why a lot of them are homosexuals, sodomites, a lot of them are into pedophilia, a lot of them fornicate, you know. The violation of scripture, the Roman Catholic priesthood is a violation of scripture. God condemns the Roman Catholic priesthood, it's not a scriptural priesthood at all. Sinarud was around, or was one of the 838 clergy members named by the Omaha, Nebraska Archdiocese as credibly accused of sexual abuse in 2018, following a probe from that state's attorney general. It is unclear when the incident from that allegation occurred, but the Catholic school, uh, Catholic school he was working for in 2018 said it occurred before he began work at the school in 1987. After leaving Brophy before arriving at Brophy, Sinera taught at the Jesuit high schools in Seattle and Portland, according to research by the law firms filing the suit. The allegation brings a number of priests accused of mixed conduct with ties to Arizona to 150, According to a list compiled by one of the firms, Jeff Anderson and Associates, a leading national firm for clergy sex abuse cases, Anderson and Associates, is following suit along with a, the local attorney and a former prosecutor, Robert Pastor. Pastor is currently handling a number of cases against the Phoenix and Tucson, Tucson, I hope I'm saying that right, Tucson diocese, including two against Phoenix, the Phoenix Diocese filed earlier this month. Under a fiercely fought, first fiercely fought bill passed, later, passed last year, middle-aged survivors of child sex abuse have until the end of this year to file a lawsuit related to their abuse. Pastor told Phoenix New Times that the latest survivor coming forward is partly due to the new law. Part of, our, a part of the purpose of the statute was to identify offenders. We don't know about it yet. Uh, he said, Pastor said the information about the priest accused of abuse released by the diocese is inconsistent, while the school in Nebraska said has said the uh, allegation of abuse against Sinner occurred before he, before his time there. None of the three, three dioceses he taught in before include him on their list of credibly accused priests. Yeah, because they're probably covering the thing up. You know, 
again, it's pagan Roman and Greek religion, so of course they're going to cover up their pedophilia. Because, you know, unlike the Greek and Roman Empire, pedophilia is not common. It's not, it's looked down upon, and rightfully so. But in the pagan Greek and Roman Empire, it was part of everyday life. Disgusting. Totally disgusting. Sorry, I do apologize. Had a little uh, interruption there. Thought someone was at the door, and turns out there's nobody there. But uh, let's continue. So a pastor said he hopes the lawsuit will turn up answers for the plaintiff about what the church might have known. He said that synerids, synerids multiple transferred before being sent to Nebraska raised questions, particularly as the church has a pattern of moving around abusive priests. Again, because they're, they're pedophilic. Learning more and discovering other survivors can help with the healing process. So much of what survivors go through alone, pastor said. A spokesperson for the Phoenix Diocese did not respond to, f to respond a phone call or email this afternoon seeking comment. You know, it goes down there. But I'm not surprised that this kind of wicked pedophilia is going on inside the Roman Catholic Church because, you know, they're following their pagan Roman forerunners. So just totally disgusting. I'm um, going to end off with some scripture here. You know, what does the Bible say about child abuse and pedophilia? Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. But whoso shall, whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged around his neck, or about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. And you go to Matthew eighteen fourteen. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. You know, God condemns child abuse and pedophilia. The Roman Catholic Church is in the, I mean, Roman Catholic Church and the Roman Catholic priesthood is an abomination. It's a continuation of the, of the pedophilic uh, pagan Greek and Roman religions. So, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. This is the evil fruit that comes from Roman Catholicism. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.